I've been reading your content for about a year and a half as a 27-year-old man of color. I've only ever been in a relationship with one woman, and that was more than five years ago. She was a single mother during this time, and thanks to advice from my family, she helped me realize that this was the wrong path. I would never have been able to entertain a woman and spend money without this experience. Despite my mother's best efforts to persuade me to do such things, after discovering that MGTOW is supported by my logic. In addition, I have witnessed my 25-year-old younger brother traverse the difficulties and drama of dating by switching relationships. I have a strong desire for women, which causes me to occasionally experience frustration. My issue is that I've been red-pilled for the past two years, which has strengthened my resolve to do so. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm a handsome man with about 8. I have tens of thousands of dollars saved up. I'm pursuing a bachelor's degree and a real estate license at the same time. In addition, I have my place and exercise five days a week at a well-paying warehouse job. I don't think I'm a loser in any way, but I can't get myself to date and get some experience if you will. I just need some guidance from my wished-for big brother. You can't hide what you've seen about female nature. You are aware of the difficulties and drama that come with dating, and while you might be able to bear it for a brief period in order to obtain your release, it is no longer worth it. You asked for my opinion, but didn't ask specific questions. Therefore, I will offer you the guidance I would have given myself when I was 28 years old. First of all, don't throw away that money. You never know what life will throw at you. Instead, keep saving it. However, you can bet that your health will slowly deteriorate after age 35. At some point, the guarantee will end. You can suffer in style or, at the very least, alleviate your stress with a large sum of money. Additionally, stress kills. For instance, before I started making videos for this channel, I used to make them a month and a half in advance. In some cases, I would make content on my days off. It would be very stressful to make a video and put it out on the same day. I was suffering as a result of the anxiety caused by the stress. I'm much more composed now and don't feel as rushed. A large safety net, according to some, is similar to cheating. I say that because of you, it's more likely to let you soar higher and faster. There is always something to assist you if you make a mistake. Dating single mothers is a big red flag, as you now know. Similar to your brother, other men experience this kind of drama. Therefore, you now require a new life purpose. You're going to school and hoping for a better future. But what will you do when you get there, which could take three or four years? Are you going to relax and stop trying so hard? After that, I'd suggest planning your next major challenge. Keep in mind that if you don't push yourself, your life will stagnate. You have a lot on your plate right now, and even if you could find a way to motivate yourself, doing so would take your focus away from your career, education, and independence. I think you need to achieve your own personal and financial goals right now. If you get into a relationship, women will most likely sabotage your plan. Consequently, you might be asking, is this all there is to life? No relationships, no family, just your objectives. You might feel empty in this. If this is the case, you need to do some soul searching and look into your interests and hobbies. If you don't have anything like that in your life, you might be able to go on a self-discovery journey or voyage of discovery. That is, I believe that the fact that you are a young, attractive, and independent man who has stopped dating women and works hard for money is the most significant aspect of your story. You are aware that you can acquire them by spending money but your own life is significantly more important. If you are a woman watching this video, you need to know that when you ask yourself, where have all the good men gone? You should know that. The response to that question is that they won't be coming back to you because they've probably taken their path. Men of means are leaving the dating scene in large numbers, and we wonder, what's the point? This is perfectly demonstrated by him. Because he has assumed the role of a monk, resources are scarce for a woman out there. If she wants to find one of the few good men out there, 
she'll have to play her cards right by getting a better job or working on her appearance more. Continuing to be MGTODOU results in female competition, which eventually leads to depression. Also, once they realize they won't get the man they want, they want to buy a cat. What additional tips can I offer you regarding this? Your life is moving in the right direction. Make it sound like you actually have a bright future and fully comprehend the nature of women. Now, perhaps now you can persuade your brother to think for himself. Perhaps you should decide what you want to do when you reach your short to medium term objectives. The majority of people are so preoccupied with retirement that they have no idea what they will do with all of their free time in the future. Perhaps you should consider what's next in your life once you get what you want in a little while. Also, do you think that if a woman were chained to your ankle, you could have done everything you are doing now? This is something I want all of the guys who are listening and who are currently dating and looking for a relationship to know. That everything you've always wanted to do but thought was impossible is possible. All that free time can be better spent working if you remain single. Many people believe that a woman is drawn to a man's potential when she sees him doing his own thing with passion and succeeding. Now that I think about it, I think that when she sees a man doing well, there is a part of her that is deeply jealous because she thinks to herself that she will never be as passionate or driven by something as much. By getting together with a man like that, she is preventing all of the other guys from experiencing what it's like to be free and productive. She also thinks that she will never be as passionate or driven by something as, since she is dating him, she will likely sabotage all of his progress deprive him of as much of his success as she can, and then eventually move on to the next willing victim. Since I have nothing else to say about you, Casey, I will spend the remainder of this video talking about something that pertains to both you and that single mother. Personality can be found in the article, Why Nothing Personal, but I don't want to date a single mom. The author tells her story of when she was in college and her children were one and three years old. She eventually broke up with an older man she was in love with because he stated that he would not date a mother. She did not mention his name in the article, but I'm sure he is aware that she is a writer. If he reads this story, she will get her writer's retribution by publicly humiliating him. She then writes about another man who told her that she is an amazing mother and that he adores her after she shames him. That merely indicated that I would worship you while providing the cankle biters with resources I never created. The article that Emma wrote can be found on her website, wealthysinglemother.com, but reading it makes you wonder how she managed to become wealthy and successful as a single parent in the first place. I'm sure that finding the right man who will give her exactly what she wants is a big part of that. Naturally, the issue is that a woman should prioritize her children when they are born. She won't be able to prioritize the man in her life if she does. However, Emma believes that it is acceptable to shame a man who does not want to play second fiddle to her. The comment section beneath that article is both funny and hurtful. Ladies, it's all pretty simple, says a guy named Brian, who pretty much sums it up. Children are expensive, and we'd rather use those funds to raise our children than those of others. It may seem trivial, but dating today doesn't offer many advantages to men. One of the few remaining advantages is advancing our DNA. Don't take that from us. I also find it fascinating that men are willing to put up with being cleaned and having their lives destroyed. It's like getting a free ride if they get the chance to pass on their genes to a single mother. Another individual by the name of Anthony also made some excellent points when he stated that a single mother's relationship with a man will never be the most important one. He will perform handyman services around the house as a butler rather than a boyfriend. Because they are aware that he is not the real father, the children will not respect them. He will be responsible for resolving the emotional issues that the single mother has. Drama for the baby daddy, because the father will always be in the background and then the double pain of losing the connection with her and the kids when they break up. I'm sure it's not hard to find a woman who has never had children before in this day and age, because so few people in the West have children. I believe that many men fall into the trap of single mothers because these women are always on their best behavior.
because they are desperate to provide for and protect their children and have children. Also, a woman who is an eight will be a five or a six when she is a single mother, but a man who doesn't understand women's nature still sees her as an eight more realistically, still sees her as an eight, and he thinks he's lucky to find that these types prey on single mothers. Knowledge of the red pill not only keeps men away from more desirable single women who have never had children before. However, it also informs men about whether or not single mothers are truly desirable. Usually, the winners are single mothers who rely on a man's stupidity in business. They are the primary cause of women's divorces. They frequently believe that they can deviate to another man who overvalues her and knows nothing about his worth. That may be what transpired with you. But now that you know how the game is rigged, I'm sure you smile whenever you think of the single mother you once dated. She probably lives like that. When you open the hood, you'll see that many single mothers look like Lamborghinis, and you'll go crazy like William Shatner when you finally see them. There were no single mothers in the past. The children became the man's property and burden if the mother decided to leave. Today, women feel that patriarchy was unfair but fathers kept their children because they were the ones providing for them. Because the government taxes us so heavily and gives it to single mothers, they are the only ones who can keep their children today. Governments will eventually reach the tipping point if they continue to manage those debts. The notion of a single mother will then fade away like a legend or dry land. If you recall the cheesy cabin in the Waterworld film starring Kevin Costner, you will notice how the actor becomes entangled with a woman and their child. Even though she wasn't her daughter, she might as well be.